Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the January 2017 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get started. Here's problem 23. Nancy works for a company that offers two types of saving plans. Plan A is represented on the graph below. Uh, savings from 0 to 150 uh, and then weeks from 0 to 60 okay uh, and then plan B is represented by the function f of x equals 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 times x squared where x is the number of weeks uh, Nancy wants to have the highest savings possible after a year Nancy picks plan B. Her decision is either correct or incorrect. Correct because plan B is an exponential function and will increase at a faster rate. Or correct because plan B is a quadratic function and will increase at a faster rate. Or incorrect because plan A will have a higher value after one year. Or incorrect because plan B is a quadratic function and will increase at a slower rate. Definitely try the problem on your own. See if you can get the answer on your own. Uh, there's a lot of things that can be said about this question. So there's... Um, and I'm, I'm, there is a little problem that I have with the question as written, and I want to address that for you. Um, but uh, they, this question was not eliminated from the regents, but uh, there is a little bit of a problem with it. Um, let's see, though, if there's anything you could do to try the problem on your own. Um, and if you do get the same answer that we do, then definitely hit the like button. Um, the, the first thing I want to note is that the first that we can eliminate a, an answer real quick. Uh, number one, because it says plan B is an exponential function and will increase at a, at a faster rate. Plan B is not an exponential function at all. It's a quadratic function, all right? So now we've turned a one in four problem into a one in three problem, meaning that there's a one in three chance of getting it correct as opposed to one in four. Um, and uh, as, you, as you know, uh, 23 out of 24 multiple choice questions, 23 is usually a more difficult question. So increasing the probability of getting it right is very valuable for us at this point. So let's see if, if uh, uh, the, the, what this says. Correct it because plan B is a quadratic function and will increase at a faster rate. Um, incorrect because plan A will have a higher value after one year or incorrect because uh, plan B is a quadratic function and will increase at a slower rate. So I'll tell you now what the problem that I had with the wording is. It's a quadratic functions have a greater rate of increase eventually. Their initial rate of increase is lower and their final rate of increase is higher. Um, so it's not enough to say that a function is quadratic and therefore the balance is going to be higher after just a year. Um, after all, we're looking for the highest savings possible after a year. Uh, it's not enough to say, well, it's quadratic, so that's it. Uh, the coefficients could be such that the balance is lower uh, after a year. Um, and by my wording, you could probably see that it's actually going to be, it happens to be this one. This is going to be the correct answer. But uh, it's not correct to say that a quadratic function will increase at a slower rate. Quadratic functions eventually increase at a faster rate. But eventually, you know, but we're not at a, a very, an extremely long amount of time. We're after only a year. So we have to be very careful. So what we do in this case is we evaluate the function. And that's really the only way to guarantee that we get it right. And that's really disappointing um, for me, at least. So, so what we need to know how many weeks all right, X is the number of weeks. X is the number of weeks. So we need to know the number of weeks in a year. So there's 365.24 days per year. And we need to convert this to weeks. And how many days are in a week? There's seven days in a week. So uh, days, seven days in one week. We cancel. And so we multiply this out and we get 60, 365, 360, oops. 365.24 times 1 divided by 7. Okay, that's 52. So there's 52.18 or so weeks per year. Okay, so or it's around 52. Right, so this answer should be very clear what the answer is going to be. Let's, but let's let's plug this 52 and 1 eighth anyway. Um, so plan A, we go to the weeks, so 50 to 65 blocks, so it's keep counting by 2. 52 weeks is right here. 
uh, and here's the value of f of the plan at 52 weeks. Okay, so one 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 somewhere between 100 and 110 on the lower side of of that. Uh, but I do also notice that this is the point 1020, and let's say this is the point 3060. So this is the function y equals 2x. So y of 52. 0.18 is equal to 2 times 52.18, which is equal to 104 and 36 cents. Okay? So that's this is the linear. This is plan A. Let's not call it the linear plan. This is plan A. Now let's go for plan B. Plan B. We get uh, f of x is equal to 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 x squared. So f of 52.18, this is equal to 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 times 52.18 squared. Okay, let's just do that. Um, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 times 52.18 so that's uh, that's an interesting thing that there's 52 weeks in a year that's a, that's a very helpful and number to know so 136 136.147 so 15 and this balance is clearly bigger so she did make the correct answer which means that this is the only remaining correct answer so again, my complaint is that it's not enough to say that this is a quadratic function like for example if this point oh five was was replaced by let's let's try like 0 0.03 the balance would have been one eight would have been 81 okay so it's not even it's not even the fact that the function is quadratic the problem is not is is that the value is higher that's the reason that the she made the correct choice she chose plan b okay so she made the correct choice Hey, thanks for watching. If you're watching for one hour play this, hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now. If not, go to youtube.com, search for juantutors.com, click on the name, and definitely hit the subscribe button, and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos, and scroll to the bottom. All of our playlists are going to be right at the bottom. Just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there. And if you feel like you need a little extra boost with tutoring, go to our website, check out our testimonials, and if you feel like we're right for you, you can click on the Contact Us link and contact us straight from the page. Thanks for watching.